Hey, what's up, everyone? The Great Dance. But here we have some more Diamond Dynasty gameplay. Yes, it's another video and not another stream. Like I was telling you guys, it'll probably be another week or so before I start streaming again. I'm just showing the team right here that I'm, that I'm facing. It's Hanley Ramirez, Torch Lewitsky, Matt Holiday, Anthony Rizzo, Nolan Arenado, Ken Griffey Jr., and a few other guys in there. I think he has Luke Roy in there, too. I I didn't uh, think to look at it as it, it was going. But this is actually a game that was... Uh, relatively frustrating actually a pretty good game though so he leads off the game right here with hand ram flashback hand ram roping a double the opposite way he was actually late on the pitch and I thought he was late on the pitch but what also happened was it was right down the pipe kinda at the knee this kinda frustrated me right here I didn't even have the power all the way up on Turner's throw and then just how long it took Eric Harris to get to this ball and throw it and he gets a Frickin' run here scores an unearned run here and uh, Normally that's not the biggest deal in the world I'm like I could come back from that But this game I actually had a very difficult time hitting this is also my first game playing online using the analog pitching I have to say Use the analog pitching all right <laughs> you can see I do mess up a few times throughout this game But I was getting used to it and I was also the this is my first time using this online also It's also the first time I was doing this with um Noah Syndergaard, and his uh, delivery is a little bit slow, that's why in real life, uh, people steal off him like crazy, I think last year, they stole off him 48 times, which is absolutely insane when you think about it, don't get me wrong, his, uh, Travis Darno doesn't throw out runners very well, but Rene Rivera does, actually, so, you know, he does have a really long delivery, so sometimes it's hard to, uh, stay on target with the analog when it's a very long delivery, it's like, you just wanna, you know, smash it up already, Sometimes with some pitchers, I find it easier to actually pitch when there's runners on from the stretch. And you want to assess this actually makes a very nice play over there. So, this game is cut up quite a bit, mainly because it took a while for me to be able to start hitting. I was swinging that crap like that. I don't know, this, this CC Sabathia flashback, there's been quite a few people that have faced me with him. And I have trouble with it. I haven't lost to the card yet, but I generally don't hit that well off it. But I do go the other way with Jason Kipnis, who's actually... No longer in my lineup. Well, I'm switching guys in and out. I actually just picked up the uh, live series Daniel Murphy, who's actually a better hitter than Kipnis, although his fielding is poo-poo. Absolute poo-poo. So I did pick up on Yoannis. Yoannis Cespedes is hitting one into the gap. We're going to uh, go first to third on this. We didn't want to risk it with, with uh, two outs. We already got a guy in, in scoring position. We don't want to you know, risk any of that anymore. We got Gary Sanchez coming up here. and I don't know. Like Gary Sanchez's stats look pretty good. But they really aren't that good. It's mainly because he's been um, playing in my, my conquest game modes and stuff like that. I'm doing some of those things. So if you look at a lot of my guys' averages, they're pretty damn high from like you know playing the computer on veteran, you know, all the time, just trying to get these uh, con conquest games uh, done and these CPU challenges done. So you're gonna see a lot of guys that have like over 500. Some of them have close to damn near a 600 batting average on my team. Um, not to say that I'm not hitting well online, because I am hitting well online, but you can actually check out your statistics. I thought I had this. I was just late. I was actually sitting on fastball, got the fastball I won, and I was just late, just missed uh, digging a home run out there. Although, people hit just late inside home runs off me all the damn time. Although, I haven't seen it since I've uh, moved over to analog pitching, but I'm sure it will, it will return very soon. It will make its return very soon. I just lost my freaking train of thought, though. So, I am using... Uh, like I said, I'm using Noah Syndergaard here. He's, he's actually the only good pitcher that's in my rotation right now because I'm trying to do the, the Chris Archer missions as well, you know, that the rookie mission. So the only one I have left is to do the seven strikeouts in the game with a rookie pitcher. So Syndergaard came up. It was no big deal. I think my rotation right now consists of, like, rookie Max Scherzer, uh, Bob Feller. Do I get a hit here with Trey Turner? Yes, I do. I get a hit here with Trey Turner. Trey Turner, I got to say, guys, is, like, my favorite leadoff hitter in this game. He's a fantastic, fantastic player. Uh, I can't say enough about him. I think he's going to be staying at shortstop for me for quite a while. I, Brandon Crawford just going to, uh, I'm going to say he's going to rot on my bench, but I don't even have him in my lineup right now because I have Buddy Bell on my, on, my, on my team right now. And Buddy Bell is just a fantastic card. And I like him coming off the bench. And unfortunately there, I got thrown out with Trey Turner. He got an awful, awful jump. Sometimes when you're playing online, if the connection isn't great, it will sometimes register like you're trying to steal late. And I doubt I just got a bad jump, just to, for a bad jump per se, because uh, Trey Turner's uh, his uh, stealing is like a 95 or something like that. So chances of him getting a bad break, you know, are, aren't very high. But he did get a bad break, and I got thrown out. Even though I thought I was still gonna, you know, outrun that ball, he made a perfect throw. 
That was out. This is what it is. I was trying to make something happen. As you can see, it's the fourth inning here right now. I have, what, one hit? One hit. I was starting to get pretty frustrated, but at least, you know, knowing that I was pitching pretty well, I was just trying to keep myself in this game with, uh, with Thor here. And we did a pretty good job. We didn't strike out a ton of guys in this game. I think Thor winds up going seven plus innings. I struck out five with him before I wound up taking him out. But you're going to see that that shortly because, you know, I, I, I cut through a lot of things in this video mainly because it was a lot of us not hitting and there weren't that many strikeouts either. So I kept all the strikeouts in and all the big plays in. I guess that's how I'm going to edit these things moving forward unless I include a face cam. And this, he finally gets a hit. That was their first hit since the first inning. And it was Han Ram again. So at this point, he has two hits. Both of Handy Ramirez. I'm pretty sure that was a uh, fat pitch as as well. Yeah, it was. It was right. It was right down the middle. It was a bad pitch. I'm lucky that he didn't uh, do anything more with that. So I also um, a few things happened to me during this game, which you're gonna see very shortly with um, stealing base with um, not stealing bases with with my opponent stealing bases. It wasn't letting me throw to the bases. Like, that, that, that used to happen to me in MLB uh, 2016 occasionally, where, like, you, it's like, the runner is off, and you hit the button to throw, and just nothing happens, or he throws, like, 30 minutes late, the guy's already at the base, and then he decides to throw, and you're like, what the hell is that? So, I've, I've experienced that in this game, and I think it, that, you'll, you'll see, you'll see, I'm not gonna tell you what happened, well, they're right there, that happened right there, look at that, I'm hitting the button, and just nothing's happening, nothing's happening, and he throws, like, a half hour late, you know, it's, it's very frustrating, because at that point, somebody that's slow, can steal on you. You know, someone who's like 65 speed with not good stealing can steal on you. And that's that's kind of BS. He got he was able to get his guy into scoring position with less than two outs, but then I came up with a big strikeout with Noah Syndergaard. I buckled down and got out of it. And uh, I wasn't too worried about uh, Matt Holliday here. Um, I'm not really worried about right-handers too much on Syndergaard. This guy was a he was ranked I think a de decently high in this. He wasn't ranked as high as I am. I think his, his thing is I looked up his record after the game and he was like 20 and 8, which is an, an amazing record, but still a solid solid record. So this guy was a pretty uh pretty decent player I I, I got to say. But uh, I was just having trouble hitting him this game, even when um it was just a lot of this like he's getting contact like this also. I was getting a lot of contact like this in the game. It seemed like I was on all the time and I, I didn't feel I was late, and I was late all the time. It was like I was having trouble picking up the 92 mile per hour fastball from CC. I don't know. Um, this is what it is, and uh, I actually kept Thor in here right now because he was pitching so well, and I was like, you know what? I want to keep him in here as he's pitching well. He's given up uh, no earned runs, and he's given up two hits only to Hanley Ramirez. So we have Tony Gwynn in here, who I have not been hitting very well with uh, as of late. Trey Turner got the uh, single right there. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was thinking here uh, on this next pitch over here. I was not thinking he was going to throw me a fastball, and then he threw it, and I should just let it go anyway because I was not ready for it at all. I was not expecting that. This guy's been throwing me junk all, di all game, and I, it's honestly what I was, was expecting. And I should just let it go. It was nowhere near a strike. He just caught me off guard. Sometimes that happens, and that was that. Was that. But we have our boy David Wright up here. I send Trey Turner to third base, and I, he throws to third, so I'm going to take that extra base here. Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Big mistake, buddy, huh? Well, just, what are we thinking here? Let's put in Buddy Bell, because I don't want this uh, this all-star flashback Griffey facing him. So I'm in here right now, Buddy Bell, one of my favorite bench players off this game. You can play him at short, you can play him at third. For me, for my team right now, he's best suited to be on the bench, come off the bench in late situations like this. You know, try to help me get a big hit, considering that I didn't have many hits at this point in this game. What did I have right here? I have five hits. He only has two. I have five hits, and they were scattered hits. This is a big spot. I'm waiting on a, uh, I'm looking for an inside fastball here. He gives it to me. I'm a little late, but Buddy Bell with his 90-plus contact smashes a double opposite field down the line. And just like that, the tides have turned, and I have the lead. I was pretty damn psyched, if I, if I do say so myself. I was, like, not, like, ready to scream. Because, you know, it's just a video game. But I was pretty darn excited when that happened. And then Syndergaard comes up over here. And uh, I actually wind up uh, hitting some, hitting this guy over here, which I was pretty pissed. And he pinch runs Jonathan VR. And this is where it's coming again where he tries to steal the base. I pitch out, and it doesn't let me throw the damn ball. At this point, I think he knows that there's an issue where it's not letting me throw the ball. So on the very next pitch, he takes off. And this time I think he actually, no, Gary Sanchez drops the ball. So we have a passed ball here. So that wouldn't have mattered anyway, but that one to second really upset me. And at this point, you know, he got a runner to third with less than two outs, no outs actually. And I'm like, he put, also has Ryan Braun here pinch hitting. I'm just like, I'm unintentionally, intentionally walking Braun. 
This is exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to set up a double play. You know, I'm like, you know, I gotta try to get a strikeout and then have this double, double play set up. So that's pretty much what I do. I bring Cody Allen right here. I figure I'm, I need to get a strikeout. He puts in, uh, he brings in Giancarlo Stanton actually. So I, I like my matchup. Giancarlo Stanton can hit the ball a ton, but his contact is crap and his plate vision is crap. So I know I had a pretty good chance of striking him out. Just like in real life, he strikes out a ton. He's a guy that you, you, sh you shouldn't always be afraid of facing. Although he has a ton of power, he strikes out a ton. And that's exactly what I needed here was a strikeout. And then he, look what he does here. What an idiot! He tries to steal the base. Why? Why? If you ground to a double play, you tie the game up. Not that you want to do that, but it just doesn't make sense. And now what do we do here? We strike out Stanton. Now we only need one out to go. It doesn't matter. He can't score this run. He needs to, he needs to hit to score this run right now. Very, very silly. It didn't make much sense to me. Guy kind of ran himself out of an inning. And now we have uh, Hanran up here who's been giving me a lot of issues in this game. He has both of his hits so far. And we have an 0-2 count right now. Um, I think I think he actually winds up sending the runner. It was really weird. So we, we tried to go upstairs. We wanted to change the eye level a little bit. Now we're going with the curveball down. Yeah, and the runner goes, which was odd. I think he may have hit the button by accident. And I think he may have just swung at that because he knew he was going to be out. But whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. We got out of the inning. And look at Trey Turner again. Proving to me why he belongs in this lineup every time. Roping an opposite field double right into the gap, into the right center field gap. Trey Turner gets on base. Tony Gwynn not feeling it too much, so uh, we got David Wright up right now. And look at this, 0-2 count up the middle. So what I wound up doing there was 0-2 was count. I actually did a contact swing there. Don't be afraid to contact swing. It's situational hitting, okay? Did that, drove in the run, gave herself a nice little one-run cushion. So we have uh, Kelvin Herrera up here, up here to go close the door with a 100 mile per hour fastball. He's not, he, at this day he was playing up, he was playing up at 91, so I decided to use him as my closer. That pitch was nowhere close. No idea what the heck this guy was swinging at, but I don't care. I will take that strikeout. Herrera is a beast. And I do gotta say, I'm loving this analog pitching. Everybody that hasn't done it so far, try to do it, get used to it. It helps you out a ton. And there's a strikeout there. I don't know why I edited it that, that way. But we're gonna show the whole Anthony Rizzo at bat here. So we get Rizzo out in front. The whole thing is just mixing up your pitches on this guy. This guy really didn't do much against me, like I said. He had two hits in this game. Two hits, both by Hanley Ramirez, you know? So, <laughs> I pitched very well this game. It was a very uh, tough game, though. We were just one strike away from getting uh, Anthony Rizzo out. So, we're, we're, I'm, I'm trying to actually get him to swing and miss at this. But it comes back over the plate. Kids, and that's it. Game over, folks. And that is it. So, we actually wind up winning this game. 3-1, to one. Noah Syndergaard pitched a fantastic game. He went seven innings, only struck out five, but, but didn't give up any earned runs, just one run, and it was just, you know, a great, great game. Look at that. So I, I pitched a two-hitter, a complete, not a complete game, but, you know, a team two-hitter. It's a pretty damn good time. Okay, guys, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and that subscribe button, and hopefully I will catch you on the next one. Later.